Hi, welcome again. Today I'm trying to give you a sneak peek into our road support in open land. So it's basically uh, similar to landscape decals, but we are using splines to create roads. Uh, for example, here we have a simple road. I have some spline over here. So I can basically move here and there and just works. So all other features are very similar to open land uh, decals, landscape decals, but they are optimized for roads. Here uh, I have the usual noise. I'm gonna remove that right then I'm gonna remove the edge fading also we have some special fading for in then start of this road so I'm gonna remove that as well so this is this is the simple like road texture without any uh, blending options yes this is a simple spline I can move it here and there and I can move the complete object anywhere I want right then uh, you can see there are some uh, repetitions in my road I can easily fix that by adding some like variations into my texture but I'm not gonna do it right now also we can add some uh, edge blending yeah like this and soon we will have some noise for the edge as well so then we can have some variations in the width uh, that will be really nice also at the end uh, we can have some blending uh, opacity blending as well like this so yeah looks nice uh, right and also we have the noise blending like this so we can have yep oh it's like that basically you can control a lot of things here again this is rpt base uh, so it will be really uh, performance friendly and also it's it's actually painted on top of your landscape so it blends nicely into your landscape as a result of that we cannot actually uh, deform the landscape uh, with the roads but uh, that's something you have to do manually basically you can get the uh, landscape brushes for example i can get a sculpt brush so i'm gonna reduce the tool strength real really small and i try to sculpt a little bit like this then i have road over here right like this and it's too much i guess so but then i can use the smooth brush and try to smooth over here like this and then let's try to play my game a little bit right so right now we don't have like procedural way to like deform this you have to manually sculpt the landscape and that's the uh, result of using the rpt based road system but so that's something we have to live with right and also we are completely supporting mega scan textures uh, for example i can simply drag a mega scan road texture and it's just plug and play let me show you all right uh, i have road texture i can simply drag it over here all right i think i have like changed the uvs in the previous one that's why we, we can see uh, dual roads but it looks nice uh, and let me uh, remove the noise blending because it doesn't make sense to have noise like this all right and also like uh, we are using the normal map of the uh, this styling texture but it looks nice can play my game yeah like this as i mentioned earlier i scale my uvs that's why you can see the double lines uh let's fix that right like this i'm gonna put one by one like this so now we have a yep nice looking uh road over here also we here we are using edge uh, smoothness uh edge opacity i don't think we need that much for a road like this uh, let's do a little bit yeah like this yep now we have a proper road and it looks really nice yeah i haven't released this feature yet to the marketplace and the reason is there are some uh, few modification i have to do i hope you can get this uh, feature by next monday if you're watching this video after some time uh, this feature is available in open land and uh, this is a free update for everyone I have purchased open land you can get this for free but i might increase the price of open land after this uh, anyway i haven't uh, thought about that properly all right uh, see you soon with something interesting bye